One of my favourite builds in Destiny 2 has to be the Hunter Stasis build, not because it's good, but because it's fun to use. With this build, updated for Season of the Seraph, you're going to be getting infinite grenades that you can use for effective ad clearing and PvE content. Now the background gameplay is going to be a heist battleground, where you're below the recommended power level by 5, and I wanted to use this as an example because the majority of ads are yellows, and although the build may not instantly kill everything, it's still good to slow and freeze ads while knocking them back in the process. Now although I don't recommend it, you can take this into a Grandmaster Nightfall, but like most builds, it's not going to be massively effective because this build is designed for the use of running around only using your grenade to shatter enemies one after another. Taking this into a GM, you're probably dead before you even run up to the first ad because you just you just wouldn't do it. So stick to using this build for fun in activities up to master difficulty while at or above the recommended power level. Now guys before we start, if you like this one and you want to see more like this then the full playlist is linked down below where you can find all the best, latest and up to date builds for the current season of Destiny 2 and if you do like this one maybe consider subscribing as it really helps me out and we're very close now to 100k. But now without further delay, let's get straight into it. So first things first. How do we use the build? So the way you'll use this build is first run up to an ad and become Charge of Light. You'll do this by using your melee to kill them to generate a stasis shard, and then picking up that will give you a Charge of Light stack, two stacks. From here you'll then run around killing ads with your grenade and shattering it, which will create more shards to give you more stacks of Charge of Light, and then you just repeat. Now you don't have to become Charge of Light to start the build, so if ads are too strong for your melee to slow, freeze or kill them, then use your grenade instead to generate the shards. It'll just mean that you have to wait a little longer for that grenade to come back for the first time, but once you've got the loop going where you're throwing grenades, shattering them and then picking up shards and repeating, then you're all good. You only want to be throwing grenades when you are charged light after that second one, because using firepower mods and a combination of different aspects, fragments and our exotic armor, we're going to be generating a lot of grenade energy. So throwing a grenade while charged light will give us about 50% of our grenade energy straight back. You'll then shatter the crystal which gives the recharge rate a boost, and then run around using frosties to boost it up even more, and that way you'll get your grenades so much quicker than normal. Now if you're not charged light, you'll get a little bit of energy back with grenade kickstart, shattering the crystal and then running around without firepower, but the uptime of that grenade is going to be much lower. So with this build, in terms of the subclass, you want to be using a Hunter Stasis subclass with Gambler's Dodge to recharge the melee ability. A Glacial Grenade for our grenade, and then the aspects are going to be Grim Harvest and Shatter Dive. For the fragments, we have Whisper of Fishers, Whisper of Refraction, Whisper of Torment, and Whisper of Shards. All of these are going to basically make our grenade more powerful in terms of shattering it and getting it back quicker. For the exotic armor, we're using Frosty so that we can get increased ability regen for all the abilities when sprinting, which is why you want to be constantly running around throwing grenades and shattering them. Then for the mods we have three firepowers, one in the helmet, one in the legs and one in the class and this will give us grenade energy when we use it while charge of light which is why you always want to be charge of light. Now we're going to become charge of light by picking up stasis elemental wells by using elemental charge and we'll get two stacks every time we pick one up. So now we'll need a way to generate stasis wells so our final mod that we're going to use is going to be elemental shards so that stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells and the way we're going to get those shards are from our subclass aspect grim harvest where defeating a slowed or frozen enemy is going to generate that stasis shard. And remember that we can slow and freeze enemies with both our melee and grenade, and once we've got our first charge light stack, it's just a matter of using your grenade on a loop, because that grenade will refresh the charge light stack when you pick up more shards generated from it. So in simple terms, you're using one stack of charge light by throwing your grenade at enemies, then you're shattering it which creates more shards, and gives you more charge light stacks, so you have it on a loop just like that. Some of our fragments like Whisper of Refraction are going to help our other abilities, which means we'll have all our other abilities back quicker than we usually would too. Now we are also using Grenade Kickstart, so we can get grenade energy for just using it. This will help us for when we're not charge light for whatever reason, and we're also using two bomber mods in the class, so when we do use our class ability, we'll reduce our grenade cooldown too, and other than that, that's pretty much all you really need with this build, but overall a really fun build to use in lighter PvE content. But anyway guys, that's all for this one, a little shorter than the usual build videos we do here on the channel, but I thought I'd test a different format and see how it goes, so thank you all for tuning in, let me know what you think of this one down below, and I'll catch you guys very soon for the next build.